Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to download and install SOLIDWORKS 2019 to 2020 student version. And this video is intended for Studica customers, so some of these steps here will be specific for those of you who purchased through us at Studica. Now, I'm assuming you've already purchased the software and that you already have an account set up with us. So what you want to do first is go to our website at studica.com and go to your account up here at the top right. If you're not logged in, you'll see a login option, so go ahead and log into your account. And once you're logged in, you'll want to uh, click back up here on my account and go to my downloads. And in here, you should see a list of all the downloads you've gotten through us. So if you've only purchased SOLIDWORKS, you're going to see these three items here. So the reason SOLIDWORKS has three different downloads is because it comes with two voucher codes, which are these items right here. And it comes with a normal um, code for the entire product right here. So for the voucher codes, I'm not really going to cover that. If you are interested in redeeming these codes and using them, I recommend using the instructions link right here, which links you to a PDF that details how you can redeem your voucher and make use of it. Uh, the one we want to look at for actually downloading and installing the software is this third item here, which is SOLIDWORKS Student Edition Download. Um, you'll see a download link in this column right here. And there's also instructions here, so if you want to look at written instructions, feel free to do so. What you want to do first is click this link to download the file, and it's going to download this executable. And depending on your connection, this could take a while. The file is about 36 megabytes large. So once the file is downloaded, you'll want to open up your download folder and uh, find the file. It's called SOLIDWORKS Setup, and just right, I recommend right-clicking it and choosing Run, run as Administrator. Uh, this will ensure that the software extracts with full permissions. So you'll be asked, you'll see this uh, extractor come up basically asking you where to unzip the file. You can just leave the default location here. Mine might look different than yours. Um, that's perfectly fine. Just leave it default and click uh, unzip. And it's going to extract the files. Again, this might take a while depending on your computer. And uh, once you click OK on the, the last window that popped up there, you'll see the Installation Manager open. So on the Installation Manager, we want to choose Individual and click Next. And in here, it's important to note that the 2019 version has consolidated the student license. So you only have one serial number now that will actually activate all the products in, this, in a SOLIDWORKS Student Edition. And just for reference, all the products in the Student Edition are right here. Um, you get SOLIDWORKS Premium, Simulation Premium, Flow Simulation, Motion, Plastics, Sustainability, Electrical Professional, Model-Based Definition, Cam Composer, and Visualized Professional. So your single serial number now will activate all these products at once. In the 3D Design section, make sure SOLIDWORKS is checked, and then you're going to put in your code. So you should have your code in your download section. It will show up here. These are filler numbers. These aren't what yours will look like. Yours should begin with a 9020. Um, all the SOLIDWORKS Student Edition numbers begin with a 9020. And the keys are all pretty long. They're 24 characters. So you're looking for a number that has 9020 at the beginning and is 24 characters long. So you can come in here and like highlight your key. And I would just recommend copying it. So right-click Copy or Control-C. Uh, and then coming into your program here and just pasting in the first box. And what this is going to do is paste your code in here. And then at this point, we don't care about any of this other stuff because this number is automatically going to grab the other products for us. So we click Next. And uh, it's going to connect to the SOLIDWORKS server, so you do have to have an internet connection for this bit. And then it's going to give you a summary. So it's going to show you that SOLIDWORKS is going to get installed, um, e-drawing, slow simulation, plastics, electrical, all the stuff that I showed in the, the other document. Basically, everything's going to be getting installed here. So if, if you're a more advanced user, generally, you, you might want to look at each of these and modify them if you need to. But most of you out there, just leave everything default and then choose, I accept the terms of the SOLIDWORKS license agreement. And it's going to tell you how large this is, how large the download is going to be. And then you just click uh, Download and Install, and it should just begin the download process. Now, SOLIDWORKS is a large program. This step right here is specifically the download portion, which um, is about 6.8 gigabytes. So depending on your internet speed, this can take a while. Uh, or it might go really fast. But in general, you just need to be patient. And I also highly recommend that you make sure 
you're on a stable internet connection for this. Um, if you are running on a wireless connection that is very spotty, it's entirely possible this process will fail. So I would definitely recommend making sure you're on stable internet connection, preferably a hardwired connection. But if you can't get a hardwired connection, make sure you're in a very uh, consistent, stable spot on your Wi-Fi network. And just be patient with it. Once it's done downloading, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so what should happen is when the download's finished, you're gonna get a message that's gonna say that a SolidWorks installation is about to start. Um, it will basically start on its own, so if you're away from your computer, it will automatically do the installation. Uh, if you're at your computer, you'll see the message. You can just ignore it, let it do its thing, and then it's gonna begin installing. So we're now at the installation process, and this is probably gonna take a while because it's about an 18 gigabyte large install. Okay, so once it's done uh, installing, you'll see this window here, and you can just, if you want to see what's new, leave this checked. I'm going to uncheck it, uh, and it's up to you if you want to do the customer experience improvement. I'm going to hit remind me later, and choose finish, and it's going to tell me that uh, the computer needs to restart. I recommend choosing restart now. So once your computer's restarted, you can find your program by looking on your desktop and you should see these icons for all your different SOLIDWORKS programs. Additionally, you should be able to find them if you go to your start menu and you can just search for like SOLIDWORKS and you should find all your programs in here. So if you are a Studica customer, you purchase SOLIDWORKS through us on our website um, and you continue to have issues or you're just having trouble getting the software installed, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can find our, you can open a ticket with us at studica.com slash support slash contact us, as you see up here in the URL, and uh, just fill out the information and submit a request, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, so hopefully the video has kind of guided you on the right path. Again, please reach out to us if you do have any issues, and have a good day. Thank you.